When most people think about living longer, they think about heart health or cancer prevention. But there's something happening beneath the surface of that that determines whether you'll be like that 92-year-old dancer or struggling in your 50s, and it's called metabolic health. Think of your metabolism as the engine that powers every cell in your body. When this engine runs smoothly, you have energy, your organs function properly, and you age more slowly. When it starts to malfunction, everything begins breaking down faster. And the scary part about that is that this breakdown often starts 20 years before you notice any symptoms. This malfunction is called insulin resistance, and understanding it is crucial because there's a landmark study published in the journal Circulation that followed over 3,000 adults for 15 years. They found that people with insulin resistance in their 40s and 50s had double the risk of dying early, even if their blood sugar tests look completely normal. Double the risk. That's the same increased risk as smoking. Insulin essentially is like a key that unlocks your cells so glucose can enter and power them up. When you develop insulin resistance, it's as if the locks on your cells get rusty and hard to open. Your pancreas then has to produce more insulin and essentially more keys to get the same job done. Now, for years, this compensation works and your blood tests look fine, but the extra insulin quietly causes damage throughout your entire body. It drives fat storage around your organs, it promotes inflammation, it disrupts your hunger signals and strains your cardiovascular system. Now, eventually your pancreas just can't keep up. By the time somebody gets diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, they've already lost about half of their insulin producing cells. Those cells are dead and they're not coming back. But what causes this in the first place? Well, the biggest driver is excess body fat, particularly around your middle. This visceral fat doesn't just sit there, it actively releases inflammatory chemicals that interfere with how insulin works. Physical inactivity makes it even worse because your muscles are supposed to be the main place that glucose gets used up. But if you're not moving, glucose has nowhere to go. Poor sleep, chronic stress, and diets high in processed foods and refined carbs all accelerate the problem even further. But here's something most people don't know. When you eat matters almost as much as what you eat. Your body is naturally better at processing food in the morning than at night. Large meals late in the evening force your body to deal with glucose when it's least capable, gradually worsening insulin resistance over time. People in the blue zones, the regions of the world where people routinely live past 100 years old, tend to eat their largest meals earlier in the day and often stop eating in the early evening. Now, alcohol is another factor that people consistently underestimate. Your liver normally acts as a control center for regulating blood sugar, but when alcohol is in your system, your liver drops everything else to process it. Regular drinking, even just moderate amounts, like a couple of glasses of wine at night, impairs how well insulin works and promotes fat buildup in the liver. Over decades, this adds up. So what actually protects metabolic health and helps you live longer? Well, the evidence points towards building and maintaining muscle through strength training, which we'll cover in detail a bit later. It means being thoughtful about carbohydrates, not eliminating them, but eating them with protein and vegetables to slow down glucose absorption. It means not snacking constantly throughout the day, which gives your body regular breaks where insulin levels can drop. Remember, it's okay to feel a bit hungry throughout the day. It also means prioritizing sleep because just one night of poor sleep measurably worsens insulin sensitivity. And it means managing chronic stress, which elevates cortisol and directly interferes with insulin function. The encouraging part is that metabolic health responds really quickly to changes. I've seen patients in their 60s and 70s improve their insulin sensitivity dramatically within months through consistent adjustments. Their energy returns, brain fog lifts, and blood markers improve. Your body is constantly adapting. So give it the right input and it will respond. That's how you end up dancing at 92 instead of breathless at 55.